Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial on our channel Learn at Nostar. Today we are going to see how we can implement conditional count in SQL. Now many of you who have been working with SQL for a while might already be aware of this. This is more like a beginners or early intermediate level scenario and it's a very simple trick and a simple way of implementing this. So let's get started and take a look how we can do this. We are going to be working with the employees table and we are going to consider a scenario in which we want to find out the number of employees in each department and also the number of employees whose salary is between let's say 30,000 and 60,000 in each department. So now we want to implement two kind of counts. One is a count on the entire department so all the employees in that department and in the second column I want only the count of those employees whose salary is between 30,000 and 60,000 and I want to achieve this all in a single select query so how this can be done so as I said it's a very simple uh, tip on how we can do this so the first part is simply account star so we can just put account star and we can get the count so let's call it as employee count And for the second part, since we have a condition, so the condition is that the salary of the employees should fall within a definite range. So for that condition, I'm going to write case statement. I'm going to say case when salary between 30,000 and let's say uh, 80,000, then one else I'm going to set this to zero and as uh, let's say employee count one and this is all going to be from our employees table so if I just uh, have this scenario what is going to happen is that for every employee whose salary is between 30,000 and 80,000 the flag is set to be is going to be set to one but since we want a count, so what now we can do is instead of using the count directly, we can use another function which is going to be the sum function. Every time the employee salary is between this defined range, then it is going to keep on adding one. So which in essence is counting the only those number of employees whose salary is within this range. So for the employees for which the salary is not within that range, it is the counter is set to zero. So one plus zero is going to be zero. So it is not going to increment your count for those employees who do not satisfy the condition. So this is a simple trick that you can use. You can use a combination of of sum and case and you can set the uh, value of the case statement to 1 when your condition is satisfied and to 0 when it is not satisfied. So this is the simplest way to achieve this. You can also achieve it in um, different variations of case so you can have different variations of count so you can have a case statement where you set it to one else null and you can use the count property that it counts only uh, not null values so you can use that as well now coming back to our query now what we need to do is since we are performing a count and we are going to select a department id because i we want the grouping to be on the department id so for each department we want to perform these counts so what we need to do in the end is add a group by clause on department id and now if you run this whole query you will get a count so you have three departments the total number of employees in the department one is four but there are only two employees in that department who satisfy the condition of this salary you can see in department two there is one employee who satisfies this condition in department three though there are three employees there is no employee who satisfies this condition so you can keep on adding your case statements you can if maybe you want to find the counts in different ranges so now you want, you want to count the employees whose salary is greater than 80,000 as a different count column then that can also be added so this is how you can simply perform this count and you can use this combination of sum and case to perform a conditional count I hope that the simple trick was useful to you if it was then please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like comment and share this video we'll be posting many more videos soon thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned goodbye